Hello, this is Robert with SBX Schooling Technologies. Today I'm here to discuss the Marley MX75 build kit replacement for your Marley cooling tower. We have two different types of fill replacements kits. One for a single cell Marley cooling tower and a kit for a multiple cell cooling tower. I want to show you a little bit of the difference of what comes with the kit and then we'll kind of look at the fill sheets and uh, install the fill sheets. So first I wanted to review the single cell exterior kit and I have a drawing for it. Basically you locate the fill tubes in the tower, you cut a hole through the case wall and you have these cover plates right here that comes with the kit to be able to cover the holes back up. So we'll demonstrate a little bit more about that here in a minute. We also come with rods to tie the tubes together to the tube filled support. And then also we have some new diverters that come with the kit also. Okay, we have a second fill kit for our interior cell on a three cell cooling tower. This actually does not cut any holes in the casing sheet because you cannot access those casing sheets on the middle cell of a three cell cooling tower. What we do is have you remove all the fill sheets locate the tubes and splice the tubes back together with a splice tube. So this kit will come with a splice tube with a hole in the middle and also some support that goes up in the hot water basin area to be able to support the tubes where the splice is located. So we'll look at that a little bit closer here in a few minutes, but I wanted to show you that the splice tubes, you have your two tubes set here and you would put the splice tube in the middle to splice them back and forth, and then it comes with a little quarter inch, three inch bolt to put in here to keep the splice tube from moving back and forth. So that's how you would splice the tubes back together after you hang the fill sheets. All right, so now we'll take you over to the cooling tower and show you how to install this fill kit. Okay, we are back on the case wall side of this NC8401 tower. A uh, contractor has located where the tubes are within uh, fill sheets and have modified holes in the casing sheet to be able to pull out the fill tubes before we can install the fill sheets onto those tubes. Okay, we're here at the louver face of the cooling tower. We are about a little over halfway done with installing the new fill sheets on this cooling tower. I wanted to be able to show you the bottom support tubes that are pushed through the cool water basin side, uh, they're down here. And then at the top, we'll have the top support tubes that are temporarily supported by chains and by a uh, plate here that comes with the fill kit. The chains are tied up through the hot water basin through the nozzle holes. So we basically temporarily support these tubes uh, and why we install the fill sheets. So next we'll take you through on how to put the fill sheets in and basically we'll fill a few more fill sheets in and then we will use another chain to temporarily support the tubes, remove the existing support and then push the fill sheets over to, to match up to this and we'll start the process over again. Okay, I wanted to quickly show you the top fill tube supports and the tube supports that attach to the casing wall. Sometimes these things, you, you cannot see these easily when you do a tower inspection, so these sometimes may be rusted out, so you need to make sure these are ordered, they do not come with the fill kit. Once you get all the fill sheets installed on your tubes, you use this rod to go through both tubes to pin the tube through the holes. Okay, we have our fill sheets here in a, in a pile that's shipped from our warehouse. Most of the time they will ship where you have a A sheet and a B sheet together. And I wanted to show you how they are stacked. So this one, the top one here is an A sheet and you can tell that's A sheet because it has an A on the uh, spacer knob. And then this sheet is a B sheet. To identify which sheet is which, it's the one at the top of the fill sheet. So the louvers and eliminators are pointing up here. So this is the B sheet. So that's how you identify that B sheet. And then again, this one's at the top because these louvers and eliminators going up. Uh, this is the A sheet. So these are also 
interwoven. So you have this sheet here, it stops about 8.1 inches from the top here. Then you got the next one and so on. Okay, we're ready to install more uh, fill sheets into the tower. We have our temporary support set back here and uh, we have identified that we need to start back with the A sheet. So we've identified that on the knob. And then also we wanna make sure it's orientated correctly in the tower with the louver side <clears throat> on the louver face of the tower and then the eliminator face here. And you can tell a little bit of the difference of the width of the louver. The louver is just a little smaller width than the uh, eliminator. Okay. Okay. Uh, and that's how you hang the fill sheets. So they come up here and they'll line up, the knobs will line up on the louver face here. So again, you'll continue filling the fill sheets, going across those tubes, relocating the uh, temporary support as needed to get all the way across where you can pin the tubes to the side of the case wall. And this is Robert with SBX Cooling Technologies. And again, we're discussing the MX-75 Marley OEM fill. Mm -hmm.